In this video, we have a word problem to solve. So let's go through this. A window consists of a rectangle surmounted by a triangle. Find the area of the window shown in the illustration and how much wood frame is needed to enclose the window. Now the diagram is not to scale. So just to make clear here, this completes the uh, rectangle here. So this is five feet. This is five feet here also. So this is five feet here. This is also six feet over here. So it should be clear that the area, of course, the area of the window can be found by finding the area of the rectangle, which is straightforward. 30 square feet would be the area of the rectangle length times the width, so it's 6 times 5. So all we need now is to find the area of the triangle. We add those up. If you're given two sides and the angle between those sides, you can find the area. If you're given the altitude of the triangle, obviously if it's a, if it's a uh, right triangle and you have the two legs, you can find the area area of a triangle in general is the base times the height or altitude times one half. So let's set this up this way here. Let's drop a perpendicular from this vertex right here. We know we have an isosceles triangle here. So we drop a perpendicular to this side. That divides the opposite side and two. Let's call this X. So now here we have a right triangle. So we know the Pythagorean theorem applies. So this tells me that since I have a right triangle right here then X squared plus 2.5 squared should equal to the square of the hypotenuse here, which is b to the 4. So this would be 16. The length of x here then would be the altitude. So let's solve this for x. First we'll solve for x squared. So this would be x squared. And bring this over to this side. This would give me 16 minus 2.5. I'll put this in parentheses so you can see, see it more clearly. This is going to be this squared. So then x squared is equal to 16 minus 2.5 squared. So we compute this out using a calculator and then taking the square root, we'll compute 16 minus 2.5 squared and then take the square root of that. This of course comes out, this, this will come out to 9.75 here. That part will come out to 9.75 and then you take the square root of that Round off, I'll round it up to two places. This would be 3.7 or 3.12, I should say. 3.12. And that's, of course, in feet. That would be your altitude. So then, if I want the area of this triangle right there, the area of that triangle then would be equal to one half the base and the base of that big triangle is 5 so this would be 5 the altitude is in this case is x so this would be times 3.12 and this would be 7.8 so the area of the triangle is 7.8 square feet that means that the area of the window is going to equal to obviously the area of the rectangle which is 30 square feet and plus the area of the triangle so this will be 37 30 at the 7.8 37.8 square feet then it also asks how much wood frame is needed to enclose the window. 
So that's just looking at the perimeter of this figure right here. So you got six feet, six feet more, five feet here, and then four and four. So it's six, six, it's 12, and then four and four is eight, that's 20, and five more is 25. So this of course would be linear feet. Not dealing with area here, it's just the linear distance or the perimeter of this diagram of this figure here. So how much width frame is needed to enclose the window? 25 feet. So the area of the window is 37.8 square feet and the amount of wood needed to enclose the window is 25 feet. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.